Hey, where are you from? Where are you from? Anybody else here? They're staging right over there. Probably better to have them all over the PD, right? Yeah, move them around, do what you need to do. Okay? All right, They're not very detailed, but just yeah, so that we can correct some misinformation that's been out there, all right? Are you ready, guys? Yes. At about 5.25 or so tonight, the police were called to respond to this location uh, for somebody causing a disturbance in the street. They responded, they confronted the individual and tried to uh, interaction with him. He apparently got more and more agitated and finally produced a weapon and began to shoot at the police officers. Uh, one police officer was hit twice, but uh, he uh, was into his vest. The second round uh, hit above the vest. He is presently uh, in a hospital and they're going to certainly monitor him, but he's awake talking to his family and the other officer was hit in the head but it was a grazing wound and he has been treated and released from the hospital and he is also with his family so we're certainly very grateful for that the police officers after they were fired upon returned fire and the individual was uh, hit a number of times and he is being uh, uh, taken to an area hospital and there's a question of whether he'll be med flighted to uh, a Boston hospital. So that's the status that we uh, know at this time, but both officers, uh, we are grateful, are going to uh, recover, we hope. Can you just comment on the climate that we have right now involving police officers and, you know, here on the Cape and elsewhere, but, you know, officers have been killed. We're lucky to have two guys alive here. Well, it's obviously, um, you know, the police that are over there, including Chief Dunn, they're just very grateful right now. Imagine being grateful when two of your police officers are It's obviously a very dangerous job, and um, uh, you know uh, we we uh, we just have to keep that in mind that it's a dangerous job the police do, and we, we should be grateful to them for doing it. Do you know anything about the suspect if he lives in this neighborhood? I'm not going to comment any further on on that uh, individual at the moment. We know who he is. Uh, he's in custody and being medically attended to, but. Uh, Kind of going Can we speak briefly of just about their condition, of how the suspects are doing? How the suspects are doing? The suspect was shot uh, a number of times. He is being treated medically for that. Okay. And, and both male police officers? Yes. Okay. Um, do you know, have they been on the job for a number of years? Obviously, this is very soon to be... Yeah, they, they, they're, they're good police officers, experienced police officers. Okay. My God, I don't mind. Just, hey, Matt. Was the first two minutes there? Okay. Uh, uh, I, all I said, Matt, was about 5:25 or so. The police uh, were asked to come to a, a disturbance in the middle of the street here. When they arrived, they try, encountered the individual. He was uh, difficult to have a conversation with. He got more and more agitated and finally produced a weapon and began to shoot at the police officers. He struck one officer twice. Once, thank God, in the vest, the other just above the vest. The other uh, officer was shot in the back of the head, um, but it was a grazing wound that did not uh, penetrate the skull, we're told, and he has been actually treated and released. And both, both officers were with their families in the hospital. One is treated and released, and the other one they're going to keep around for a number of hours just to, to monitor his, uh, his progress. But, Sus you know, suspect suspect has been shot a number of times. He's being medically attended to, and he's in custody. Obviously. Michael, did you just address what's happening behind us right now in terms of the follow-up? Well, the, this is, you know, the, the, 
how every crime scene is treated. Um, we have the Massachusetts State Police Detective Unit attached to my office is here working side by side with the Falmouth Police. We have Nashby Police, Barnstable Police, the Massachusetts State Police from Bourne and, and Yarmouth and, uh, you know, it's crime scene services and so it'll, it'll be processed every other crime scene and uh, you know, we'll gather the appropriate evidence to deal with the case. What um, hospital were they taken to? I'm not going to comment. Thank you. I don't know.